What's up, Pyromaniacs? Hillbilly Pyro here, and I have something important to talk to you guys tonight about, and that's security. Now, here in West Virginia, when the opioid crisis and stuff like that, that's what they call it here. I don't know what they call it around your area, but when it first broke out, anything was up for grabs. I mean, people would steal the plumbing out of your house. I mean, it had to happen to me, and worse. And uh, you learn after a while, you know. You either go to prison for doing bad things to the people, or you find ways to, you know, circumvent it from happening to start with. And that's what I just want to talk to you guys tonight about security systems. All right, so I have a little unboxing. I mean, I've had this sit in a drawer for like a year, so it's a little dusty. But Elik, I don't know E L E C. I got this kit off of eBay, right? It looks like a pretty nice little kit. You know, owner's manual. Don't need no sneaking instructions. Alright. And you get these four little cameras. Oh, I partially assembled one. Yeah, check it out. Nice metal casing. It's not plastic. It's got a lot of infrared lights in there. So that's always good. Mount and everything like that. It's discreet. But I like mine to be seen. Alright, in the kit you also got your wiring. This is your digital signal, you know. And your power wire that goes to each camera that you have to hook up. And then these little boxes are just this mounting foot that attaches to it. Alright, the system comes with another little box. And you've just got your standard stuff. It has a power adapter, a mouse... Um, some replacement screws and a remote control which is pretty cool all right and then you have the DVR unit itself back here move those all the way all right and it's got a cat hair on it because when you got a ton of these everything does right, but it's a simple little DVR but I've used this system well Actually, my brother has this system, and he's used it for over a year now. And even in extreme temperatures and stuff, it does really well. Now, how much did you think a system like this would cost to buy? But you'd be surprised to know the system cost me 60 bucks for all of it. And that's not a bad, it's not an uncommon deal. I mean, you can buy them like that quite a bit. But the thing is with the systems that are that cheap you have to install your own hard drive a lot of people are like oh no you know i don't know anything about this or that but it's not as hard as you might think if you don't have any experience with that kind of thing so you just take the top off when you get it i mean if you can turn a screwdriver you you got that covered of course now the top don't want to come off of course doing it one-handed is a bit of a challenge oh, it's latched in there good right there you go so you can beat the shit out of it it'll work fine but inside you know you got your standard one gig hard drive I mean if you can plug in the SATA cable this little thing right here that goes into this plug right here and then the power cable that comes right here into this thing and you're pretty much good to go as long as it's set for master you might want to look up how to set a hard drive from slave to master and all those other good stuff and then just mount it which I've just got mine sitting right here but it should be sitting about right now but uh, I'm putting this together to get it installed because I want to make sure people keep stealing my damn yard gnomes it's pissing me off that's what I'm into tonight he'll be the barrow out <laughs>